What's up guys, Jun Killing here back with another video and for this one I have six arches I've been drawing on my iPad for the Spires and card game I'm working on. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Cheers! So yeah, I was command to draw six arches for the Spire Ends game and yeah, I have to draw them on two poses. So yeah, I did a really fast pencil doodle for the poses to came to figure out the two poses I will draw the characters on and then I will start with the pencil doodle of the first character, this one, and start developing the costume, the weapons and the stuff that will like make the character work. So yeah, I I work on my iPad Pro with Apple Pencil as usual and this was a really fun character to draw and to try out. It was the first one of the six and I think it came out really good considering it's the first one and yeah I will improve the designs and stuff in the future but here let me talk for a minute about the the inking tool I'm using. It's a really common question on my Instagram and on my YouTube comments so yeah, I'm using for most all of my drawings. I ink with the let me show you with the dry ink brush. Sorry, I have procured in Spanish, but it's a dry ink brush on the inking settings. Um, yeah, it's it's default. I just adjust the grain with I re re replace the grain with the blank uh, the blank picture, so you don't have the inner grain on the line it's the only it's the only adjustment I did and yeah let's go back to the drawing here is the second character it's a girl so I modify the face part of the part of the costume the weapon and go right inking this girl is in the same pose as the other character so yeah it was I have the pose fresh and I'm taking decisions while inking. I love doing that. It keeps the workflow like uh, fun in every stage. I did a slightly change on the weapon, like the client asked for it. And yeah, it's been fun drawing this one too. Adding details, hatching, and all the stuff you know I like to draw. And also, I drew the weapon and the arrows and stuff and yeah I have like I want this piece to be like super detailed and yeah I am having fun drawing this I have to adjust the weapon because it looks like awkward and yeah now into the third character this one is kind of a mysterious one also doing the pencil doodle first and the fourth one is a girl with a mask. Here is this one are in a different pose, so I try to draw them like on pack, like two characters at a time, so I can get the pose right and then just do the pencil doodle of both of them. And then when those are approved, I go and just go inking and adding details and stuff, textures and all these things I, I like to draw when drawing. And yeah, I think oh, this <laughs> video is <laughs> like really long, seven minutes and a half. So I don't hope you don't mind me talking for almost eight minutes. Hope it don't doesn't bother you. But yeah, on to the next character. This mask is part of the game, so it was a must on the design. Also, the clothing. There are some things on the closing you'll see in other characters too so I have to to draw them and use them on some of the characters and I'm really having fun drawing the hair and stuff. Here is another character with the same mask but in the first pose I drew I wanted to go crazy with the with the weapons here. Um yeah but you will see what happened then with him and here's the other character that could have more of a sci-fi vibe 
like with tubes and stuff and yeah all fun characters to draw trying to came up with different costumes and, and and stuff so yeah having fun having fun this project it's been really fun and challenging at the same time you know i like to draw robots and sci-fi stuff and here drawing vikings for almost a year it's been awesome i never thought i would draw vikings and have so much fun drawing them and yeah hope the game come out soon and great as the mockups i've been seeing and hope you in, in enjoy it so yeah here when you ask me for the textures how i draw them yeah it take a long time i don't use a special brush that you just with one stroke you get the texture done no i like the old school style drawing line by line it's time consuming but the result it's i think it's great it's more organic natural it's it's good for me and yeah also i use the dry ink brush as i mentioned before but i don't play with the line weight so i set up my line weight and then i start drawing and don't change it just adjust the pressure sensitivity while drawing so so just with the pressure i can get a thicker of a thinner line so i'm not playing around with the size of the of the of the brush all the, all the time it's faster for me to draw and, and i think it's better for my workflow but when i want to draw the the outline more thick yeah i i just adjust the line so here are the final characters the colors are done by greg and yeah it, this project it's been super fun and hope you like the final results of the characters they are for me they're looking great and can't wait for you to play the game and yeah thanks for the support the good vibes and i'll see you in the next one cheers